Hey there, YouTube family. I feel like it's been forever since I have sat down and filmed, and but I'm happy to be sitting down today and being able to film and show you guys my empties for a couple months, actually. I haven't been really saving a ton of empties. I don't know why. Uh, I, maybe I just haven't been going through things as much as I normally do. I'm not sure, but we're going to get into those. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe by clicking the red button below. And if you enjoy the video, I really do appreciate it when you give me a thumbs up. It really does help the video get populated into YouTube land. So I appreciate it when you guys do that for me. Okay, so empties. A lot of things I'm going through right now are lotion. And I showed this to you guys not very long ago. This is Philosophy Shimmering Body Lotion, and this is the Falling in Love one. I really enjoyed having this. Not only is this my favorite fragrance from them, I mean, it is top notch fragrance. It just has this sexy, light, airy, summery smell to it. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my very favorites and I love having it as a layering piece too. So the shimmering part of this was really pretty as I self tanned as well. It's nice on, you know, re regular bare white, my white skin, but it's really pretty when I have a tan too, because it gives it just a little bit of glisten to it. And yes, I will be repurchasing that one, not just for the fragrance, but I do like that shimmering factor to it too. This is um, First Aid Beauty's one of their Ultra Repair Cream. And I really love this stuff. I have had it in a big, huge tub, which I use during the winter for my skin at night. And I have like three or four of these. So I use them in a pinch in my purse. If my skin feels really parched, I'll just wipe it on my skin because it is so lovely. Now to go on my hands, my feet, anywhere, it's just great. The one thing about it is even though it is very, very emollient, it doesn't really feel greasy once you get it on. And I love that about it. So yeah, that is something that I would highly recommend. I have tons of these little tubes. Okay, this is well loved. Look at this. Looks like it's been in a crash, you guys. This is my Jergens Natural Glow. Gradually creates a flawless looking color and it says plus firming and this is the medium to tan. I love this stuff, you guys. The plus firming is not a necessity on here. I haven't really noticed that it does any of that, but as far as it being a lotion and really hydrating to my skin, it's fantastic. And that helps with the tan too, and it helps the tan look a little bit more even because you have very hydrated skin. And the other thing I would suggest to this, and I do this with every tanning product I use, whether it's a gradual tan or whether it's a self tanner that you know does the tanning like in a couple hours, I wear gloves. I wear the latex gloves. If you're allergic to latex, you can get the other ones. But I wear gloves every single time so that my hands don't get um, really dark because that's the one thing that happens. And what I do with this one that I like so much better than a regular self tanning product is I use it just like a lotion. So I rub and I rub and I rub and I rub until it's rubbed in so that there's absolutely no streaking or anything like that. So I love that stuff. I also used up the e.l.f. Illuminating Perfect affecting or the illuminating primer mist. I use this specifically just to spray on my makeup sponge when I'm doing my makeup right before I go in and do my foundation. And um, I know that this is illuminating because it has the little shaker in it, even though you probably can't hear that very well. But so that would mix up whatever those little teeny pearlescent particles were in there. I didn't find that it really interfered with my foundation or did really anything. So I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing that one. I wasn't like uber impressed with it. This one is the hand cream from Sol de Janeiro. Again, it looks like it's been in an accident because these I like to try to get every little bit out if I don't cut them. But anyway, this one smells really good. It's just like the Boom Boom Cream and it's just like the Brazilian Crushed Body Mist. It has that same fragrance. It's lovely. However, I don't think that this is a product that I will be repurchasing just because it wasn't as hydrating as I like. At my age, my hands show up a lot of, you know, if I have dehydration or, you know, that kind of thing. So my hands, I really try hard to keep extremely hydrated because I feel like that shows my age a little bit more if that makes any sense. But yeah, this is probably one that I probably won't be repurchasing. It's a little too expensive for not enough payoff for me. This one I got in the back of my drawer and I've had this for such a long time. This is from Smashbox and um, this is just about used up. It's not quite used up. This is called the Halo Hydrating Powder. 
about, I haven't had this for 15 years, but I learned about this for about 15 years ago and I used to love this. But again, your skin changes so much through the years that I was able to wear this before and I can't wear it now. I went and I tried to use it as just, you know, a foundation powder, which is actually what it's meant to do, but I couldn't use it because it was just too, too dry. But if you wanted a setting powder that has a little bit of hydration in it, this is a good one. You do twist that up just a little bit, you know, and it shaves off just the perfect amount of uh, powder in there. And that's how that works. And it was a great powder when I was quite a bit younger, but now it's a powder that I'm not really happy with. So I'm probably not gonna be repurchasing that one. Okay, so the Milani Make It Last Setting Mist. I used up one of these little trial size one of these. I think this is a trial size, pretty sure. Anyway, the only gripe I had about this, it was a fine product um, as far as setting down my makeup. I didn't have any problems with that, but the mist thing, it squirted like crazy. So you got droplets all over your face. So I was very disappointed in that. Not disappointed product, but when you can't use the product the correct way, then it's disappointing. I used up my Catrice Prime and Fine eyeshadow primer and they have discontinued this. And I am so upset about this. They brought out a couple of new ones, which I don't even like from them. But this one was just perfect because it had that uh, opacity that you could use on your eyelids and it would take care of any redness or veins or anything that showed through there. And whatever eyeshadow you put on, it would help just to pop. Plus it never budged. It was so good. So I may get on Amazon and see if I can find another couple of these and just grab them up before they're completely gone. On, but yeah, Catrice doesn't have that anymore and it's kind of sad. Okay, from Drunk Elephant, I got, I had a little one of these, the baby facial, the Sukari baby facial. This is a beautiful product. I'm not going to diss it in any way, shape or form, but I want to tell you that I did a dupes video where I compared this to the Ordinary's AHA BHA peel. And I'll throw up right here the prices for those. And it's, it's dramatic. You know, when you get a full size one of these, it's quite a bit. It does last you a long time, but so does that peel. As far as I'm concerned, they did exactly the same thing. Now, I will say that the Ordinary does have a little bit stronger of a peel to it. So you're going to get a little bit more sloughing, but I like that when I have my Retin-A product that I'm using that I get the flakes with, you know, occasionally, I like having a, a pretty strong exfoliant. So even though I think this is a lovely product and I don't have anything against Drunk Elephant as, you know, their products, their company, I think they do a really good job. I just feel like it's a little overpriced for what you get and the results you get in the end. So I probably won't be repurchasing that one. This one right here is from Paula's Choice. It's the Clinical Ceramide Enrich Firming Eye Cream. And it says it's for all skin types. I purchased this. I didn't get it sent to me by P with PR or anything like that. And I used up the whole thing. And I honestly, you guys, I just didn't see that much of a difference. I don't see that firming quality that it talks about in here. I know that ceramides are really good for any wrinkles and any aging skin. They're really good for it but I just don't feel like this is quite made the mark for me. It was just a bit disappointing, you know, after using the whole things, you know, sometimes when you use a whole entire one where you've got like six to eight weeks out of this bottle, you can start to see some noticeable changes, but I didn't. And so, yeah, that's one that I'm not really happy about. I won't be repurchasing that one. This I is from NIAD, but this is the multi-molecular hyalur hyaluronic complex. This is really good, you guys. This actually has 15 plus different hyaluronic acids in it. And I know that a lot of people have said in the past that hyaluronic acid dries them out, so they feel like they can't use it. That's because it's usually sodium hyaluronate, and that does dry you out if you don't put something on it immediately. Now, this was a little bit different because it actually had all of those working in conjunction with each other that were holding the water. And I was using it around my eyes, and I did find that it did a really good job of holding it but I'm not going to be repurchasing this because I like the fractionated eye a little bit more um, this isn't as, as expensive as that is but I do like that product better and it's doing you know it's showing better results around my eyes okay from LA Splash I think I've had this in a couple of videos where I had it as my monthly favorites this is the Galactic liner and this stuff stays put 
Oh my goodness, it's so good. I always use a black liner to tight line my top lashes to make the base look, you know, fuller and thicker, which I absolutely love. And this one I'm gonna be repurchasing because I think this is just really good as far as lasting power. This stuff is waterproof and it stays on and oh my goodness, it's really, really good. Last product is from Living Proof and this is the Full Dry Volume Blast. I like this a lot. I had this and I had the uh, smaller one and I do like it. However, I feel like I didn't need an extra volume product in addition to a dry shampoo. I actually like having a dry shampoo because it does kind of the same thing. You lift up your hair, you give it a good zhuzh and you've got all kinds of, you know, either replenishing of what your hair looks like for the day or giving it volume. So even though I did enjoy this, I am probably not going to be repurchasing it just, just because I do like dry shampoo, I think a little bit better. Plus the price of this is a little bit more steep. So take that for what it's worth. If it's a product that you love, I don't blame you because it's a really good product. I just didn't see the need for an extra product in addition to dry shampoo. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I know I went through these quite fast, so if you have any questions about them, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to please give me that thumbs up if you wouldn't mind before you go today. I do appreciate that. I hope you are all in good health, and I will see you guys all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Bye-bye.